there! In this video we will talk about barcoding products. There's a few different ways that you can actually barcode products within TrueERP and in this video I will show you those different ways. The first way is when you're actually receiving product from a purchase order. Now before you can actually print barcodes for each of your products while receiving a purchase order you need to set up the preference to do so. So to get to your preferences on the left hand side of the screen you want to click on the Utilities tab, Preferences, click on Purchases, and from there scroll down until you see a few different options on when you want to actually print your barcodes. The first option that I already have checked off is Print Barcodes on Receipt of Goods. This is basically when you're actually receiving on the purchase order, it will pop up and ask you the question if you would like to print barcodes for those particular products. Or you can go ahead and print barcodes on order of the goods. Again, it's dependent on your particular preference and which one you actually want to go ahead and check off. Once you've set up your preferences, go ahead and click save and you're ready to go ahead and start printing your barcodes. I will show you on the purchase order section. I'm actually going to go ahead and create a new purchase order here. We'll choose our supplier, our particular product. From here, I'm going to go ahead and order 100. And what I want to show you is once you receive these back order items, just like so, this little pop-up will go ahead and, and show. Do you want to print 100 barcodes for apron? You can auto print, you can say no printing, or you can simply click on yes. In this case, because I'm actually not connected to a specific Zebra printer, I'm going to click on no. But when you do click on yes, that will go ahead and start printing on the printer of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and click on no. Now once you actually print the specific barcodes for those products, those barcodes are actually stored in your product card. And I will just go ahead and really quickly show you that. They're under miscellaneous and here you'll actually see the barcode information. Now within one particular product, such as the apron that you see here, you can have alternate barcodes as well. As you can see here, I only have one, but if we did have more than one, you'd be able to see those different barcodes on here. You can even attach different barcodes to different unit of measures when it comes to this product. Once you have your different barcodes and your alternate barcodes set up, you can simply click save and off you go. Okay, now with this particular purchase order, we're going to go ahead and click on save on that. Now, if you already have the products in your system and they're not actually on a purchase order and you would like to print barcodes for those, you can go ahead and do that as well. All you would need to do is go to your product detailed list and I'm going to go ahead and click on details here and from here you can go ahead and select which products you want to print barcodes for and then you'll see here in the bottom you have the barcode printing checked off. So all you need to do is check that. These little pop-ups will go ahead and show up. You can print the quantity in stock. So for example, for the apron, we actually have in stock 1,223. It will print 1,223 barcodes, or you can select a number. Okay, so maybe only a few of your in stock items have or do not have barcodes. So again, check this off for quantity in stock, or uncheck that for the number of barcodes you would actually like to print for the products multiple products that you have highlighted. Okay. Once you've selected that and made your preferences, made your choices, all you would need to do is click here, print barcodes. And again, you're all set. All right. Those are the couple ways that you can go ahead and print barcodes within your inventory. Thanks so much for watching.